that I went for Thought you was mine, but you just tried to be with him no. You took my feelings and just threw them out the window Feel like it's too hard to fall in love again, no On some nights like this, shawty, I can't ever think of us Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome to our Come Back to My Channel. What's up y'all? Welcome to or welcome back. Like I said, as you guys can already tell by today's title, today we're doing the one and only dorm tour. I know you guys have been waiting for this video ever since the college move-in, so I told y'all I got y'all, so I'm here with the video finally. I know I've been keeping y'all waiting for so long, but it's all good though because it's worth it and I really hope you guys enjoy. However, before we do get into the dorm tour, I did want to answer a couple most asked questions. You guys have been like flooding me with these same questions, so I want to make sure I kind of get the word out and let you guys know. Push out on game, push out on tea. I do have a life update Q&A coming up, so I won't be giving too, too, too much in this video, but just, you know, I'm going to be answering the basic questions and of course stay tuned for the updated Q&A that should be coming out sometime next week, maybe. I don't know but just stay tuned and of course I'm gonna answer a couple questions before we get into it so yeah let's get started so first things first uh, most asked questions what school do I attend so I'm at the Savannah State University super excited I'm at the very first public HBCU in Georgia um, Savannah State is pretty good pretty cool I like it so far you guys know I transferred over here and yeah I love the campus love the vibe it's a very quiet town very quiet area but the school it's loud so it kind of like balances out because if you do kind of want to get away from that loud and craziness of an HBCU um, you can go out to the town and go downtown it's just super quiet super cozy I actually think I went downtown on my moving day and I kind of showed you guys around a little bit in the Haitian Monument and all that jazz so that was there and you know it was a good experience I love it and you know I like it here <laughs> next question is where did I transfer from so I came from Pitt University of Pittsburgh um yeah PWI transferred to an HBCU from many 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 reasons but like I said I know you guys also been wondering as far as that I think that was one of the questions I don't remember but I did answer that and like one of my videos when I did like a couple months ago I think over the summer I don't really remember but I believe it was so if you want to check that out feel free to do so I can link it down below if you want if you want to take a look at that see how my experience was at a PWI why a person chose to transfer and all of that I will leave the link down below in the description box and if I happen to forget somebody comment and remind me please <laughs> and the next question is what year are you so I'm a sophomore this year in the classroom however I'm a freshman on the court because I did redshirt last year so my freshman year I redshirted so I have an extra year of eligibility so let's say I want to go to grad school or just spend an extra year um, playing sports and all that I can always do so so yeah so I'm technically a sophomore in the classroom and a freshman on the court and the next question is am I happy that I transferred absolutely you guys I mean I wouldn't trade it for the world I mean I'm glad that I did go to Pitt and ended up transferring here because I got to see kind of like what it's like for both um, PWI and HBCU. I got to visit different states. I got to meet a lot of people that I really wouldn't trade the world for. And like, my, I mean, those friendships are super meaningful to me. And like, these are people that, you know, I just feel like everything happens for a reason. And I stand on this. I feel like I say that in every video. Like, everything happens for a reason. I feel like I'm just known to say that. But it, I mean, it's true. I mean, like, I feel like I wouldn't trade it for the world. Absolutely not. Like, I really don't regret anything I feel like God does certain things for certain reasons and like I said I even though I didn't have the best experience but I had an amazing experience either way because I made the best out of it um do I wish I would have came here freshman year not so much I'm not gonna lie because it's a lot of reasons but I'm just glad that the switch happened at the time that it happened because I feel like it was just perfect timing and it's always good to trust God's timing so I don't regret anything I'm super happy that I'm here I'm loving it so far and I really hope that this school year you know ends on a good note I mean I'm excited <laughs> the next question I've guys been wondering is are you still playing volleyball so yes I am I'm still playing volleyball uh, it's kind of been rough lately because I've been trying to come back from an injury you guys know I broke my femur back in February so it's been a good six to seven months 
but I'm still recovering. It's still, you know, the strongest bone in your body. You know, it's still a lot of work to come back from. Um, I was out for a good six months, so it's been pretty rough. But, you know, I've been fighting through, I've been getting better, I've been doing physical therapy, trying to get faster, and just trying to get, you know, on the court. Um, right now I'm just practicing, not playing as much, but I'm really focusing on PT and just kind of like, you know, working with my leg. Um, at first I was really trying to get in there and throw myself in there, but, um, it, you know, I spoke to a couple people around me and they think that it's kind of best that I kind of ease into it. And especially knowing that I have next year of eligibility, there's really no rush and it's important that I take care of my body and my mental before rushing into things. So that's kind of what the, you know, the most have been that's kind of what I've been having going on as far as that um love my team so far they're amazing they're great and you know I'm excited for what we do for the season I'm really excited to watch everybody play and hopefully play soon yeah <laughs> last question is where did I get most of my dorm essentials from so most of our dorm essentials are from either Amazon Target Walmart Bed Bath and Body Works Ross TJ Maxx, Burlington, those are the places. I think I did see Amazon. Yeah, I did. So that's kind of where I got most of my things from. These pictures back there from Amazon. Those leaves are from Amazon. LEDs are from Amazon. My bed sheets and all that stuff. TJ Maxx, Walmart, Target, Bed Bath & Body decorations. Some of them are from Target and TJ Maxx. I did mention um, from like most of the things that I have, I did mention where I got them from throughout the video. So make sure you listen carefully um, for that. Uh, my frames, I did mention how I got them and printed them out and I gave you guys some advice as far as that but yeah that's kind of what I did throughout this video it's, it's a pretty good video I mean I, I I feel like I was just super detailed I really hope I was <laughs> but I feel like I, I did pretty good at that and I told you guys where everything was from so just pay attention and just listen because I did like say where everything was from from A through Z so yeah oh you guys did ask me another question you guys asked me what building am I staying in so I'm staying in Tiger Court uh, but I believe Tiger Place Camilla is kind of the same dorm room setup you pretty much have your own room um you have a roommate you guys just share the bathroom area and the sink and kind of stuff like that but it's pretty like private you can have curtains as you guys can tell back there you don't necessarily have a door but you still have a good amount of privacy in my opinion so I think it's just perfect um yeah I love it here I mean it's, it's spacious compared to like my last school I just feel like it's more modern it gives the girls it is a kind of like a tight space it's a small space but it's a good enough space for one person you know what I'm saying because you have your own room your roommate has her own room um and you just share the bathroom the sink area kind of thing it's, it's just pretty I feel like it's just right. The closet is super spacious in my opinion. I just hang up my clothes, keep my shoes at the bottom, and like as far as the clothes that I don't wear as much, I just keep them in storage under my bed. Um, the room pretty much comes with the dresser, the bed, and a desk for your homework and stuff like that. So in my opinion, I really like it. It's super spacious, and you know, you just work it. I mean, a, a dorm is not supposed to be super duper big. I mean, it's just not a master bedroom, okay? So you just gotta get it how you live it. How about it? So, um, yeah, that's kind of the deal with that. That's kind of what I have going on. Yeah, so like I said, um, there's other dorm facilities here. There's the Flip, which is the Freshman Living and Learning Center. Those dorms, I believe you share. I know they have like a quad kind of thing and a, a triple thing and you can share a room with three people, four, but they do have community type bathrooms. So I wouldn't recommend, but I mean, it's really up to what you're looking for. We also have the Ville and we have the Commons. Um, the Commons is more of like a townhouses and then the Ville is more of like apartment style. So I'm looking forward to maybe living there next year because it just gives me the girls. It just gives the girls bougie vibes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm here for it to be bougie. I'm here for every time. So I might, I may or may not be living in there. I think that's the only dorm facilities we have so tiger place tiger court camilla huber we have the flick we have the villain we have the comments i believe that's what we got on campus so if you're interested in coming to that estate and you have any questions and i wasn't like you know detailed enough you can always dm me on instagram or you can comment down below and let me know that you dm me so i'll be looking forward to your message or something or you just can you know hit me up i mean i'm i'm free to answer any question that you guys have but yeah that's pretty much it really hope you guys enjoy my room tour and let's get into it So when you first walk in, you of course have my door over here. Then we have a light switch, which controls the light kind of like in the hall or whatnot. So we're just gonna keep that on. We also have 
a quick peek hole in case someone knocks say we want to see who it is because they be playing on our floor y'all and then we have the bathroom space here's me i got the pjs on y'all still please just disregard here's my roommate side of the sink she has her area over here here's my area i just decided to go with the corner i, I don't know i just feel like it was just a lot easier but let's just start off with the top so i have this little picture frame that's actually from target it is super cute when i saw it i just thought it was perfect for the theme that i was kind of going for by the way if you're wondering what that theme is it's just kind of like boho with some greenery and i have this small plant right here which is also from target <laughs> i believe it was probably like five dollars you guys and i don't know i just thought it fit perfect with the theme then over here i have some raw sugar hand soap i love this soap y'all i also use this in body wash and it's just bomb literally and i have my sink over here and then right here i have this little uh i don't know what you call these they have a name my mom told me but i totally forgot but this is from i believe home goods then i got this pot from Ross. and then this room spray is also from tj maxx this smells so freaking good i spray this in my room all the time then i have this little dispenser which i keep like cotton balls and just like cotton things for my ears and all that and that's kind of what i have in here then over here we have another mirror on the side this is kind of the overview and what that kind of looks like and as soon as you open it up it's kind of like a cabinet like a little pharmacy i have perfumes up here Valentino, Dust Day. Then I have like just some jewelry over here. Then I have like hair oil. I also have uh, tea tree oil. And this is like eye drops and stuff like that. Then I have my toothbrush over here. Some jewelry, of course, pimple patches. And these are just like some alcohol wipes that I use. Then down here, I have some body splash. I have this stuttering acting treatment. If you guys watch like my morning routine, you know, like my first day of school, you know, this is the bomb. I use this all the time. And then over here, I have the sunscreen shimmer i have deodorant over here then i have black girl sunscreen and of course some toothpaste that's kind of what i have in my little cabinet that's just kind of what i keep in there as far as these drawers down here i have these two but these two don't open they're like kind of for decorations and these two i just have some snacks stored in there just some cleaning products i really now we kind of share as far as these drawers i have the two top ones and she has the bottom ones and we just kind of keep like cleaning supplies and just stuff like that and in these i'm pretty sure they're a mess i'm debating if i should just yeah it's okay i'll just open it i just have like miscellaneous you guys like head scarf uh gummies vitamins pain pills and just like edge brush scrunchies some more pills and just stuff like that and then this bottom drawer i just have like bar soap and face mask some more jewelry in here and i have like some teeth whitening strips some more jewelry in the back then i have these cotton rounds for like you know face masks or like whatever i need for my face and then some q-tips cotton swabs in there and then these two bottom drawers they're my roommates and then these two like i said they just have like cleaning supplies and stuff like that then i have the super cute carpet which is i believe from ross or tj maxx one or the other i don't remember and i have this little face towel usually when i finish washing my face in the morning i don't go all the way to my room with the water like dripping off my face so i just use this little towel to wipe my face then we have a little trash can right here and then below it is my weight scale which i still haven't gotten batteries for i need to do that but listen i still have yet to do that <laughs> and then we of course have a light switch over here which is for our bathroom thing we usually well some of my friends they have like stickers everywhere we don't really have that we just kind of keep it cute and simple but that's kind of the overview of what my sink area kind of looks like it just fits perfectly with the theme as far as what i have going on in my room and just kind of like you know it's just perfect and this plant right here has to be my favorite i definitely want to get another one for my room but i wonder if they still have them in store because these were the last ones that i picked up that time so i don't know we'll see <laughs> and from the sink area we have our bathroom over here uh which we have a vent that's like extremely loud but i'm still gonna turn it on just so you guys can see um got the curtain over here we have our shower things and stuff like that we have the toilet we have a couple cleaning stuff such as like a broom we have a breeze and that's kind of what it is and of course we have some carpets here at the bottom but 
that's about it and that's kind of what it is and then over here we have side a and then my roommate she's in side b uh we have our temperature for the ac that we're allowed to control this is probably like one of my favorite things because at pay at my old school we weren't allowed to do none of this and then i have my little mini fridge down here might be a mess in there yep it's a lot going on but <laughs> that's kind of what i have just my little mini fridge with some food in there my roommate has frozen in her room and i just keep my eyes out here then when i turn here i have my water pack and some paper plates and then i have this little uh it's not a tapestry i forgot what you call this but that's just something decorative or whatever i believe i got this from target then over here if you're coming to ssu and you want to have some more information as far as like the things that i got i will of course list the things that i can find below but i'll also mention them in this video so just pay just pay kind of like attention or whatnot um this curtain is an 84 inch one i got this from walmart uh i bought two because when i had bought the first one it was just like just this half so it wasn't big enough to cover everything so i just got two big long ones like i said 84 inch and then i just simply got a shower curtain well not a curtain like a rod which is this white one right here and i just kind of put everything so when you open it up you have my beautiful room over here first we're gonna start off with this side i have this command strip thing i hooked it on here got my jansport book bag on there and then once you move over i of course have my closet where i keep all my clothes and let me tell you guys i absolutely love this closet it is so spacious i mean like i keep my shoes below i also have shoes on the middle rack and i also have shoes on the top rack and i was you can see i still have some spaces missing i have an extra towel it's a mess y'all so sorry but here i have my tops i just keep like crop tops on this side and jumpsuits and dresses I keep graphic tees oversized and i keep my jersey over here as well and then i keep like sweaters and vests and puffer coats and jackets and rain all cut varsity jackets i just keep them all in the back and it's just been super hot lately so i really haven't been touching this section i've been more on this side so that's kind of what it is like i said i just have shoes everywhere Everywhere. and then I have my pants and skirts and shorts I have a couple skirts in the front here then I have some shorts and I have mostly sweatpants and then I have some short jeans and some cargos camo long jeans like I just have a whole bunch and then like I said I have a whole bunch of shoes down there and that's kind of what it is and what my closet kind of looks like and I also keep my towel over here on the side of the door it just comes with this hook which is like super beneficial you just like hook your towel on there and that's pretty much for my closet you guys like I said it's super spacious I've seen a lot of people decorate or well, fix their closet up in different ways but this is kind of how I chose to fix mine up and it just kind of works for me um and I'll kind of show you guys around and you guys will kind of understand what I kind of did it's as far as like trying to save space and all that and then i forgot to show you i just have these three random pictures on the side of the wall i don't know i just thought it was like super plain so i decided to add them this one says start fresh and i just thought like it was just super cute then you close my closet and right next to my closet i just have a full body mirror with some black borders here's me and hey, y'all look a mess i've been trying not to show myself too much in this video but it's, it's still happening but yeah like i said just some black borders this mirror is from target i hung it up with some command strips which were in fact allowed to use here's me yep <laughs> now we move to my bedding area so first things first i have these gorgeous posters up here the posters are from walgreens i printed them out well i got them originally from pinterest but i printed them out at walgreens and i got the frames the black borders over here from walmart i believe the dimension were 18 by 24 ish but always make sure you print out your pictures first before getting the frames because that's the mistake that i made i bought the frames first and then went on and purchased the uh, pictures which i got printed out and the dimensions weren't good because walgreens doesn't print 18 by 24 so i eventually had to go with a bigger size as far as the pictures and which is why some of the letters up there are cut up but you can't really tell i really have to tell you and you also can see some of the letters down here are also cut that's because the picture was just too big but always make sure you get your frames like so print out your pictures first make sure you know what dimensions they print as far as pictures then you go and get your frames but enough of that chit chat and just some quick advice for y'all i have my bed over here of course the brown theme kind of keeps going over here um this little throw-on blanket is from target this comforter is from target as well i absolutely love this because of the details that it has on there i don't know i just thought it was perfect it's not just like a simple white it just has like these like you know 3d coming out kind of vibe. i don't know how to explain it but then you move over here we have my pillows i just have these like brownish ones which are from five below this one is from target and these two are also from target uh i believe the sheets these ones are from walmart which 
also came with the pillowcases and then I got the actual pillows from Target so that's kind of what it is or I got it from Bath and Bed Bath and Body I think it's called and then I have these string lights which are kind of wearing out but I got them from Target you can usually see them more in the dark but right now it's kind of bright outside well it's super bright so yeah then I have my window over here I have my blinds you guys can kind of see the view of campus a little bit um, we have outside of campus over there then over here we have this building I'm not sure what this building is but it's just some kind of building over there and then we can kind of see the view of campus and just how bright it is today the weather looks really really good it's super hot and sunny today and of course I'm so glad that I can actually control my blinds and just close them and open them kind of whenever you know I want <laughs> and then down here I have a couple bins these are my storage bins and these bins are super helpful because like the clothes that I don't want to hang up or like, I don't have enough space I just kind of store them in there and then up under here I have this which is my laundry bag it's kind of like a book bag so when I store my dirty stuff in there I just kind of carry like a book bag to the laundry room and then here I have my dressers the first one I keep like underwear in them second one I keep like spandex for volleyball practice and then the bottom one I just keep miscellaneous and just extra clothing that I just don't want to hang up so that's kind of the deal with that and it doesn't really close all the way sure what's wrong with it but that's that and then I have this super cute carpet which is from Target by the way this dresser organizer it does come with you know when you come and move into the room if you're interested in coming to SSU and you're watching this video that's kind of what it is then I got this little organizer from Walmart myself it was actually super cheap I just store like snacks and miscellaneous stuff in there like my camera and just like extra snacks and bread and fruits and you know stuff like that when I say fruits I mean like dry fruits I don't keep like my actual fruits in here then when you move over here to the top I have this little sign it says be kind I actually had this when I was back at home but I decided to bring it with me because I didn't want to get rid of it and I just thought it was super cute and then over here I have my little plant it's a fake one but it's still super cute <laughs> and then I have this command strip right here where I just hang up my keys I always keep my keys over here with my student ID and all that and then down here I have my volleyball bag which is always here just keep it in a corner that's kind of what it is and then on side a we have this thing it's like this is ac hvac closet so we're not allowed to block this door whatsoever so that you can't put your desk or you can't turn your bed around but let's say you're in side b you will be able to like to switch the room around and kind of like put your bed towards the side so you have more space but unfortunately i'm not able to do that because i'm not allowed to block this door <laughs> so that's kind of what it is then when you move over here to my desk i first have my batteries charging of course they're always here then i have my phone charger apple watch charger and my airpod charger it's just kind of like all in one then i have my little disco ball right here which is from target by the way this is also from target and my charger is from amazon and then i have this lamp right here which works when it wants to today it's not really cooperating i'm not sure what's going on with it i've had it since last year so i'm assuming it's <laughs> kind of getting old y'all <laughs> but yeah it's just a simple like desk lamp and i have my lava is it a lava lamp no it's a rock salt lamp um, I usually have it on, but since my disco lamp is on, it's not on. And then, then like I was saying, I have my desk area over here, which I, of course, have my laptop where I focus and just kind of do my homework and edit and all that. Then I have this little laptop holder. It's also from Target. Um, and then over here, we have, like, this little storage kind of area. I'll keep miscellaneous in here. I'm not even going to open it. It's probably a hot mess. <laughs> Then I have this little elephant, which is from TJ Maxx. I don't know, I thought it was just super cute and I just thought it would be perfect for like the theme of my room. It's just all white and like has these like gold details, ears, and also a crown. Then I have my little, uh, what do you call this? A mirror, I guess, a vanity mirror. It usually turns on, but today it's not quite cooperating with me y'all. So that's kind of what it is. And then I have my little pencil holder. It's really a cup for me to drink coffee in, but I just kind of like put my pencils in there because I don't drink as much coffee as I used to. And then I have my super bright lamp which i usually use to take pictures but i just kind of have it in a corner i haven't really been using it much and then down here i kind of have like lotion and another cup for coffee my lint roller and all that kind of jazz and here's just kind of like an overview of my desk kind of area and up here i have these super cute pictures which you guys seen me put up in my lonely video that i uploaded last time if you haven't checked that out make sure you do so i just i was just bored and i had nothing to do and i just ordered these because i just thought that like my desk area was just so plain then i put these like green leaves up 
which I thought were just perfect for the theme and kind of like what I was going for. I think that it looks perfect as far as like with my desk and all that. And that's just kind of what I have going on. Then I have my uh, curtain right here. They're all just dark brown, both of them. And I just think that it matches perfectly as far as the room and kind of like what I wanted to go with. Um, so like I said, the theme for my room was just like browns and just like neutral kind of colors, which is kind of like what you guys can see as far as the pillows, the sheets, frame over here. That just was kind of the goal as far as, you know, my room. And the room is super small if you're interested in coming to SSU, um, but you make it work. I mean, cause thankfully you don't have to share this space specifically. You just share the bathroom area and the sink, but as far as your room, you have some sort of privacy cause you're allowed to put up curtains. You don't necessarily have a door, but you still have some sort of privacy and you just kind of get your own room, which I really, really love. And then, like I said, you have these super cute pictures over here on this side that I put up, which I'm absolutely in love with. And I just have my desk area and I just think that it's super cozy. It's not too much going on. Either the pictures are from Amazon and the leaves are also from Amazon yeah. and the lights, of course, from Amazon. <laughs> and that is it for the room tour video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed of course make sure you guys like comment and subscribe of course let me know if you guys have any questions either down below or if you feel like the question is too long you can always dm me okay so yeah like i said let me know down below what you guys thought of the video love you guys so 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 much thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you guys of course in the next one bye y'all peace Think of me